All right, so rare choices for Beastmen are really not, not con the points here are not conducive for a 2,000 point game. And here's why, because you got the Cygore at 275, you got the Gorgon at 275, you got the Jabber Slythe at 275. So that means if you're playing a 2,000 point game, guess what? One rare for you. Uh, now they do have the Chaos Spawn at 55. Those are pretty lackluster. Which is too bad because the Chaos Spawn kit is so good. But mostly we use it to convert it into other stuff. And then you have the Giant at 225. And he may be good, but quite unexciting compared to the other things they have here. Now, uh, I can tell what's good because... Uh, we're, in, we're in a miniatures painting studio, so whatever people are ordering, that's typically the thing that uh, is it. And uh, what I see a lot of is Cygors. And uh, Cameron's given love to the Cygor. Well, I've tried both Cygor and Jabber Slide in the two games I played. Jabber Slide and Cygor both did really well. Okay. In the, Cy the game with but the Cygor... But if you had to pick one, what would you say? Uh, if I know the opponent's going to take a lot of wizards, then I'll take the Cygor. Okay. And if he's going to have large blocks, also the Cygor would be good. Because it is stone throwing. Yeah, stone throwers don't deviate now. Yeah. Either. I think that's so how it just, works. You don't guess. Oh, you yeah, yeah, yeah. You just place roll. it, then roll. But that's yeah. still better. Yeah. That's way better. All right, well, I'm a, fa I'm a fan of the Jabber Slythe. And if I ran Beastmen, uh, I would take two. And here's why because they're a rarity being a flyer with a ranged attack. Aura of Madness, people don't think much of that, but when you have two, two of them doing it in a 24-inch diameter circle, that is, uh, really adds up, is my opinion. So, all right, that's it for Beastmen. Well, actually, you know, I have a couple more comments on Beastmen. It, it turns out the Minotaurs may be the hard hitter of the unit. I'm a fan of the Razor Gore Chariot. I was going to take four. Yeah, falling into the old trap of, hey, if it's good, let's spam it. Uh, yeah, uh, Beastmen are also unusual in that they, they get a chariot in their core choices, which is uh, a nice bonus. Do they count towards your core choices, yeah, Cameron? They do. Chariots. Oh, yeah, you could take all chariots. That's kind of cool. That's right. And there's a hero that makes your chariots better somehow, isn't it? He allows you to take Razor Gores as core or something like that. Yeah, chariot list. Now, I've got an idea about that. Do you guys want to hear it? Okay, so I was looking at the new kits for, uh, I can say this, for the 40K Orcs the uh, Dreadnought and the Killer Cans. And I was thinking, these pieces, like the razors and the wheels and the buzz saws, are so cool. I'd love to incorporate those into a Warhammer Fantasy army. And so, uh, f obviously, Chaos Dwarfs leapt to mind. And if you use the indie list, that'd be great, because they have the demon, the demon Eaters, which are effectively, you know, chariots that have grinders and flails and weird things on them. Uh, but I don't want to convert all those dwarfs. So my other idea, yeah, Cameron's going to love this, was to use the Beastmen list and have, hold on, use the Skaven Storm Vermin, which look good and I love, and have it be Dreadful Machines of the Under Empire is the army list. And Beastmen are conceivably, because you read the fluff, they're humans with some kind of beast head on them. They even uh, insinuate that there's uh, beastmen that are like cat people. And so uh, Skaven really are a type of beastmen. But anyway, and uh, use the storm vermin and then just make all sorts of hideous devices and have that be the chariots, basically. Wheeled things crewed by, you know, sort of weird science type of Skaven. Okay, Joseph's smiling and said that's cool. I'm I, I, I really like <coughs> the, the, the fantasy concept of, like the beastmen like creatures that have gotten their hands on some old abandoned technology down in the under earth 
and have scrapped this stuff together and are just running around being complete annoyances to everybody else on the surface. And I, 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 that's one thing I like about the Skaven is they have this sort of this steampunkish like element. Right. And so, I, I kind of think that's, I think that's pretty cool. So, and there's, and there's a, there's a lot of weird kind of old technology you can incorporate into fantasy, which, which is still fantasy, but it doesn't go into the 40k world at all. Thanks. So, there's the Beast Army. Okay, looks like only about four more armies to go here. Uh, let's talk about Demons of Chaos. I, I don't even know where to start with Demons of Chaos. They're definitely a strong list. They're low model count. Uh, not really particularly easy to, to paint. Uh, they can be forgiving because they have ward saves. Um, I like them because you can do a themed army, but a themed army really kind of pigeonholes you into using certain types of units. They have improved the fluff in a way by giving sort of uh, an, a fluff background excuse to have a mixed army by saying the Chaos Gods do ally sometimes. And uh, in terms of the list, oh my gosh, I don't even know where to start. It's like, it's so variated. There's so much that you can do with the Heralds. Um, obviously the uh, Zinch list, which you saw with my Fate Weavers army, was very effective, very fun to play. Uh, basically, oh yeah, how does the uh, new 8th edition percentage thing affect demons? Well, that's gonna kind of... You some of the some of the um, lords you can't even fit in the 25% lord allowance. Uh, like the uh, scar brand is 655, but you know the all the greater demons are 450, so you've got that and they're just fine. The heralds, on the other hand, uh, look like looks like um, the uh, the heralds are all at about 100 and 100 points approximately. So uh, with upgrades, you're looking at, okay, that's nice. So now you could probably take three Heralds. Uh, could you do that before? Yeah, actually, you could do it before. So really not that big of a change there. Um, the basic units, Blood Letters are winners. Pink Horrors are winners. Plague Bears, uh, I've heard both. Uh, Demonettes are decent, but I've never really heard or read anyone going off about how how great they are. Um, special choices, really not a lot there. Uh, good, decent stuff. you got Flesh Hound, Screamers, Seekers. You know, I'm doing a play-by-play -play here when I wanted to do an overview. Uh, rare choices, really you're not going to get that much difference um, with the new percentage system than you got before. You're going to end up basically with the same amount of uh, rare in your army. Maybe you can squeak one more one more out. Alright, so demons, would I recommend them for a beginner? Probably not. Probably not. Um, let's move on to orcs and